welcome to those of you who find this video after the stream is over. Thank you for clicking on it. Someone definitely clicked on it a day later, hoping it was like highlights or like the full game or something. Oops. Yeah, but instead what you should do is you should hit subscribe down there and make sure that you're here for the next time that we're actually doing a live watch along. Unless you suck. If you suck, yeah, we don't want you. Oh, man. Oh, boy, it's a biggie. You posting the link or am I posting the link? I've already begun. Hell yeah. So, so, you ready to catch a fat dub? Send everybody's hopes super high when we go out here and we run this squad. I almost said run this effing squad, but we're in the first few minutes of it, so okay. YouTube will pick it up. This flipping squad, this freaking squad, this hecking squad, you got so many options. How far are we in? Only. Yeah, we got at least another like six minutes before we can start letting that stuff fly. Almost, I almost oh just completely. <laughs> we would have had to restart, huh? Uh, if you wanted a, a decent chance of it being pushed while we're live, yeah. Keating's level of like relaxation in this push is is not healthy for me. What do you mean? The other day, who were we about to play? I think it is the game that we won because we came back, right? Yeah, we had a, a late comeback against the the Blue Jackets. Yeah. During an intermission, oh, it blew my mind. John Keating goes, well, I mean, they don't need this game. Yes, we do. <laughs> Technically speaking, you don't, though. Like, no, it's, you, it's you need it. You need it. You need it. That's the that's the difference. That's why there's a disconnect. You need this to feel better. They don't literally you need it. You have to beat the Blue Jackets in these runs. You have to. You don't. You don't. You literally don't. To feel great about it and to be more comfortable, yes. But that's a totally different question. What's up, Justin? What's up, Adrenaline? I forgot, is is Justin Fields JJ? Yeah. So difficult to connect like three names across three different platforms. What's the third? YouTube. What's the second and first? All I'm thinking is Discord and YouTube. Discord? Oh, wait. I thought their name comes up as something different whenever they comment on our videos. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe we have a separate YouTube account for commenting. <laughs> Got time to go to the bathroom, Noah. Now nah, hold it. <laughs> it's it's good luck. Can't pee the whole game. But if we get scored on, you go pee. Hey, you expel them demons. Oh, I said it in the discord, but I, I really do feel like my mental is if we win, I'm going to get too high. And if we lose, I'm going to get too low. I feel overly emotionally invested in this game. Good. 
I been can, too long. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like, last time would have been 2016 that I could say that. Can't even really. Uh, just. It's tough to like. Like, obviously, I'll be upset if they lose. I'll be upset if they don't make it. But damn. Late March and. Caring about games. <laughs> like the game is mattering. For the first time in a. Uh, very, very long time. I'm Damn just kind weird. of enjoying the ride. I'm just enjoying that uh, there's even a game worth doing a watch along for in late March. Damn, Red Wings giving me exactly what I asked for at the start of the season. Damn you. Exceed Can't my expectations, please. God, he's Probably been on tape fire. He had really. stuck on the walks. Yeah. <laughs> How many times did he tape his stick? Yeah. That was so many puns. So well, Mickey doesn't travel, huh? He has it for years. Like, he, he did from time to time, but it, that was the system for a very long time now. Yeah, I just, I guess I don't, I'd never paid too much attention to it. I paid attention because it ended up stuffing us with damn Larry Murphy, and I could never stand oh, yeah. it. Oh, my God. That's how so, I, I, I would always know, oh, it's an away game, because I got to listen to his brutally boring speech patterns for the next two and a half hours. You remember the, the Darren guy? I can't remember his last name. Darren, though. He would have been a Bally guy, a Fox Sports Elliot guy. Elliot or something? Or? Yes, Darren Elliott. You're right. I thought that, like, I just didn't know his history or whatever and that he was, like, an old Red Wing somehow. And I was like, oh, I must have just flew under my radar. Maybe it was, like, before I was born kind of deal. And uh, I was so surprised last night. I was watching the Blues game against the Knights. And he was the Blues intermission, like John Keating. Hmm. I couldn't believe. It. I was like, "Where did I never even realize that you gone?" Because I didn't. He wasn't my favorite, and when he was gone, I didn't realize that he was gone. And when I see him somewhere else, I'm like, "Oh my god!" I see Bally doing Bally things right off the bat. Hmm. Just sell to Amazon already. I wonder if they'll show the one goal that he scores where like Dylan Strom had like a shot in the slot that he could have just taken, but he doesn't. He passes to Ovi in one of like the most questionable, how do you pass that moments? And uh, Ovi scores on it, so it saves it. But what's up, Case? What's to be nervous about? It's just, just. One of 82. No different than any of the other ones. Counts just the same as first couple weeks, right? Same two points on the line. Just two points. That's all you're looking for here. That'd be something, though. Do it like a game show style. Last month, oh, like, yeah. points are doubled. Yeah, it's like playing Mario Party. <laughs> they just roll it like, let's see what the multiplier is this week. <laughs> uh, now they got to do it like that uh, that mode in Shell, like between goals. Oh my God. They pull the puck out of a bucket and they go, 
Next goal counts for two. <laughs> but you, well, you know, there's a little you would plus see? two on the puck. It's like, yeah, they'd pull it out and be like, "This is a times three money puck." And then you would see like one team just shoot it out of the out of play. Like, no, pick the next one. <laughs> we'll take a penalty. We'll go on the PK at the hope of it only being a times two. Uh, that's what they should let you do in that mode too. So the puck goes out of play. On to the next one. Oh. You know, I realized I didn't get to ask you about it. But I did watch it live last night, and I knew you were watching later than live. How did you feel about that last promo? Oh, it was fire. That was pretty good, too. We, we are, like, we are so close to being out of the PG era. Yeah. And they are they, just, they are willing to collect any fine they have to between now and when they switch to Netflix. And when they go to Netflix, it's over. <laughs> It's Raw's going to be crazy, and then SmackDown's going to be the one that feels mild because I think it'll still be on like a regular network. Oh my gosh, everyone who just got drafted over to SmackDown too, they're like, dang it. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, of course. I will be Pace. honest, Bally's gotten better in terms of uh, reliability in the last, I would say in the last like, I can only confirm in like the last like month or so. Uh, I can now click around the screen in other windows without it completely like just having to rebuffer the whole screen. That was my biggest complaint. The first three months of having it, I swear, just changing the volume would make the whole video like stop and have to like recalibrate yeah. and buffer and then like catch me back up. Huge pain in the ass. Now it's just random literal like connection buffers that'll happen from time to time but at least i can move the window and i can do things without it dying i don't know if if anybody else had valley when the season started but they were really cocky they're yeah. like we have all these cool features and it was a cool idea on screen that you could like keep up with like in theory you could keep up with who was on the ice what their stats were time on ice like it had live stats going with it Marketing but i think they were just not team. able to make that function properly with everything else because everything a was bugging out, but B half the time, the information was roughly like 40 seconds off. So 40 seconds is a long time in hockey, right? The whole line is changed and it's showing five people on the ice that are not on the ice, <laughs> but in theory, very cool idea. If they ever get it working, I liked having the little interactive buttons, uh, but they just kind of went away from it and they're like, all right, let's just try to make it work first. Let's just try to make like, let's just make the function of streaming work and then we'll add the cool stuff. Maybe. Yeah. The marketing and user interface team were on point. They knew exactly what they were doing. And then their, their CS team lacking. <laughs> Also, did you see those those highlights of the goals at the start? Looked like a, a season's worth of goals, right? That they had to to pull from to make that. It was one night. <laughs> oh, I guess the Capitals. Yeah, it was the eight goal night. Well. Wait, we have line for another year. Why did I think that's not true? So they did go with Lindgren. What's up, MSU? Puck drop is close to being underway. Make sure, yep, we are live on there. If you're trying to sync up with us, the puck is dropping right. About Come on, OB. Come on, Raymond. Now. That clock is not moving, folks. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 20 minutes. That, 
We are still minutes, at 20 minutes because 20 minutes, the clock has 20 minutes, not started. 20 minutes. What are we doing here? If this game, if they score a goal to tie it in the 20 seconds left, I'm going to be pissed. Now, Billy, this is the first time you're actually wrong keeping up with the, the screen. You need to switch that to back to starting soon. Because yes. <laughs> it still says 20 minutes on the clock, even though okay, they caught it all the way up. So we are at 19, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. We take that, uh, deal. What's that? There we go. We're going to start Woo! off with a power play. Can't be doing that, Carlson. Oh, it's Sandy. So what is this 3D effect on the Capitals logo on the scoreboard here? What's this little, like, red it's and like blue? TikTok. Like... <laughs> it's literally what you do to make something, like, 3D with the old cheap glasses on old, like, DVDs. I mean, you literally can't do that. I got called for the same thing growing up. If you're going to do it, you just need to shift your body in their way. Don't ex you literally extended your arms extend. completely into them. You just have to be a wall. It's your ice as much as it is theirs. There's a little bit of like basketball in it where I would still get called if I shifted left or right, almost like, as they were crossing, because at that point it looks just like a body check. But if you just kind of line up where you see they're trying to go, they got to go around you. Are you peeking who our center was there? No, I'm not. I'll, I'll let it surprise you. I see Kane. I see Debrinket. And Raymond. Which one was center? Uh, the There's one, one of them the playing far defense. side right now. Hop? Hop. Maybe it's for face-off purposes, but if it was only that, he'd probably be off the ice by now. Did not expect to see Cop centering power play one. That wasn't on my bingo card. I mean, you got three other that are known for scoring. Cop must be doing something right in practice. I think he would be a good net front. There we go. Now we got him in a good spot. Now, if, now, if you could just take away vision while you're while you're standing there, I think that's what he's doing. He's doing fine. Ever since you criticized Raymond's placement on the power play, and he immediately scored, I, I just okay, laughed immediately, at, and I just assumed that whenever you say someone's out of place, they're just going to score. Oh, oh, that was good. You need to get. Oh, you got to shoot though. It's a. It's a oh. I like. I like the effort, but it needed to be like a cut across and then shoot. Trying to do a full wrap was not going to work. Like if he brings that back a little across the crease, like he did, and then shoots up. Oh my gosh, he actually makes the save. Oh, he does get a shot through, but it hits skates. I think it, whoever's on the ground there, whatever cap falls down, made a save with his skates. I think he could have just shot, man. It hit Carlson skates. I oh. think he gets the puck up. He could score there. Damn. I see what he was going for, but hindsight's twenty twenty, and it definitely looking back looks like he gets the puck up. He could score there. Still a crazy good save. Ooh. Still got a couple seconds here. Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Oh, uh, it was a good look. Still retained, though. Oh, right he's back in. Oh, oh, he escaped. Working. Working. Right into him. Oh, he could have buried that. This is great early pressure. Power play was fine. 
Oh, oh hit the God. skate blade, but still finds its way back to Larkin. Great ops. He's got nowhere else to shoot. Like the top left's all open when you look at the goalie, but when you look at the defenseman who fell down in front of it too. Oh, nice play. Okay, you know. Really can't complain about the early efforts here. No, like the caps are not this great is, defensively. When you think about the really strengths solid and weaknesses start. of each team, we God, are built so to huge. beat the caps. This is like scripted. Like <laughs> these two teams playing right now and and again, we play uh it's like our isn't it is it their our last game of the year? No, it, I think it's in like six games. To play them twice when we're literally that like one team's in, one team's out right now. Oh my gosh. I can't help but notice they're not showing the shots on net near the scoreboard like they normally do. Hmm. Do you think the price for a board ad in person has gone down? It better how have. It works now? Right. Better have, but you, you think like realistically, that's just not how the world works, right? Like typically prices just either They're go up when they determine it's more valuable. And then they say, well, if you don't want it, someone else will pay it for everything else. Yeah. I mean, Thanks for stopping by, Marson. Wings are looking good to start. That's Edvinson on Ovi. That means that the Caps wanted that matchup. Oh. I don't know about that. Also, Zarnik centering Kane into Brinkett. I like that. Okay, Raymond. Ooh. Okay. He's starting to get my trust, and whenever I see him shoot, I think it's a threat. He's shown some growth this year. I mean, he's exceeding our already, I don't want to say lofty, but our, our higher expectations for them that we had. I like that. Don't like that. They're doing a good, a good job at like stopping our, our quick fancy passes. Yeah. Overall the, it seems like whenever they turn the puck over, it's usually on some, I don't want to say desperate, but like a, like a eh, like behind, like just blindly yeah. throwing it to where you hope someone is. Ooh, yeah. There, are, there are a lot of people that, you know, even in our community over here that uh, want Tom Wilson on the Red Wings. I don't. That's coming from someone that's like, caps are are higher up on my my fandom list. I don't want Tom Wilson. Especially the contract that he got. I think he's getting paid like eight to nine mil, something like that. I'm sorry, only 6.5. Feel like there are a lot of whistles. Oh, 
Uh oh. Okay, he didn't have much time to do anything. Not much time or space. Ooh. They're showing the shots now, and apparently the Capitals have no shots on that. So it must, it must have just been a couple like close calls near the net, but not an actual shot. Just finished watching soccer. Poland just qualified European Championship. I don't follow soccer at all, but I've started to see some content creators talk a little bit more about that. So that must be the big thing going on right now in that sport. Congratulations, Marson. I always think that looks so silly. The goalie, like, uh, in ducks the in their net like a bunker and like you see their head like look down like, yeah. like, <laughs> like it's like this threat like <laughs> well they didn't always do that like I remember back in the day where goalies would just play that puck and say but why why are we doing this <laughs> let it be an icy So many whistles. Thank you, Ken. Also, when I was watching uh, Raw, I was incredibly surprised by how many ads it felt like there were. It felt like there were three in one in one match. I was like, I, what am I doing? Are we watching? Yeah, I would agree. It helps that I don't watch it live typically. So it's easy not to notice it as much, but I do wonder how that's going to be on Netflix. If it's going to be, if it's still going to have commercial placements or if it will be like a full, like if they go no ads, you know, do you still get a full three hours? You know, good questions. I, I, I'm very curious how it's going to go. I mean, they don't really have to worry about the, I'm sure details will come out when it comes closer. It's not till 2025, but I'm very interested to see. I've seen people be like, I'm going to watch something live on Netflix. Like, how is that going to, I don't even know. They, do, do they even do that? Yeah, they do. Like, th those are going to be the same live. people that watch the Jake Paul and <laughs> Mike Tyson fight. But, but like, it's not like, like even bad live streaming is still understandable like how it works like the fact that they, like we're watching this on Bally is it great no but no one thought how is Bally gonna stream <laughs> it's what do you mean like I feel like that part's been figured out for like a decade plus so like let's not too worried about that part I will say if SmackDown goes to like Hulu or Netflix or anything like that, I'm not sure I will any anymore have a, a purpose for year round YouTube TV. I think I will only have it during like football season. Yeah. yeah it's crazy they sold and they're still looking okay to make the playoffs. Just under 13 minutes left in the first. Capitals still with no shots on net, according to Valley. Oh. Here we go. Got help? Nope. Okay. That was a nice little sequence, and then we just... Oh, but we're still fighting for it. Something with the motion of the the ads on the Ocean. boards there made it look like the the yellow bar was waving. <laughs> it was messing with my eyes bad. What's up, Tally?
Oh, it was a risky step. So it's like the Caps have been getting a few like opportunities, but have not converted any to actual shots yet. What's up, Matt? Yes. Hey, Matt. Or Craig. <laughs> the Craig. Nick Jensen is one of those wings that I forget about till I till I see him and pass. No, nah, they do it sometimes, Tally. Sometimes it's an ad. Sometimes they do the random <clears throat> sports sequences. You've listened to the new SBM Plus one, right? I think I've heard it. It's a beat. It's not as good as Peacock's beat, though. Yeah, it was cool to see Cobb get uh, kicked out of that faceoff and then Fisher still win that, uh, win that back. Well, well. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. wow. Interesting. Now we got a chance. No. Edmondson's like, get Interesting this decision by the Caps, whoever that was, not to take that shot there. Ooh. Good four check. And we don't get anything. I guess we get the puck. A whole lot of nothing going on lately. Oh, caps break in, but oh golly, that won't be a shot. But <laughs> um, you know what Kane and DeBrinket remind me of, and this could be for better or worse depending on the situation. Going to drop in and seeing two friends that know each other. Yeah, they look like. Two people with, like, they're the ones with the same practice jersey on. They're looking for each other. You can tell they kind of, like, for whatever reason, you can see there's a connection between them and they're kind of, you know, whoever else is out there, it doesn't really matter. It's us out here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're, we're homies that are just, we, we play together. Pretty accurate. Some situations, that's really good. In other situations, it's like, all right, we get it. Yeah. You're saying some games it's beautiful, some games me. I mean, sometimes it could be definitely for worse, right? I mean, of course, it's probably not what's actually going on, but when that's what it it does give those vibes. Sometimes it looks great. Is it safe to say uh are are we done begging for Bergen? Yeah. Is that era done? Is everybody did you, did you get a good enough look and see why <laughs> maybe he's down there instead right now? Sadly, yes. <laughs> Not saying sad. I knew that, because I also would have been, I was like, every time he gets called up, I was excited to see it, but I also, uh, I feel like a lot of people were pretty upset that he was staying down there with how good he was doing. It's crazy how much more of an impact he has down there. I wonder what it What's is. Up, Austin? Hey, Austin. I just... It, it's it's moments like that and players like that that when I see someone excelling 
in the lower league, I it doesn't fully capture my heart in like being like, oh yeah, this is gonna happen. Of course, it gives you hope, but mm-hmm. there, I think it's pretty obvious now that there is no direct correlation between success in the AHL to success in the NHL. It feels like it's a completely different beast. And I was watching the the Knights last night, uh, and apparently they had a guy who had been doing just okay in the AHL. Like, his name is, like, not, like, Dad Nanov or something like that. I can't remember what it is. Dadriov. And uh, he had been doing okay in the AHL, and he was scoring from range. Like, that was, like, his thing is that he would shoot from far out, and he was able to snipe. He came up to the NHL, and, like, in his last 12 games, I think he has, like, four or five goals as a real young player. So, like, he's doing well for his call-up. Everything has been around the net. Like, it's nothing like he played in the NA- or AHL. He's completely adapted to have, like, an effective NHL game. All for Ovi breaking Gretzky's record. Let's not contribute tonight. Unless it's like eight to three again, then Ovi can have all three. How many more does he need? 47. No shot. Gonna happen. He's gonna play until it happens. And it'll be my, my belief is when it happens, he will definitely have been like past his, uh, he will have worn out his welcome. I won't disagree. It'll feel like when it'll feel like when Miggy hit his last like big milestone where it's like, okay, you can go now. Yeah. I believe (laughs) that. Someone hit Ed, someone hit him. Keep him off the scoreboard. Dude, if you told me that the the Lynx could win 10 to 9 this game and Ovi would get 9 goals, I'm all for it. I'm not. In regulation. (laughs) I'm not. I don't want to give up 9 goals in any scenario. (laughs) That'd be an Ovech trick, too. Yeah. Still so silly, right? Actually, I kind of, I used to feel that way. I, I don't know why, as I've gotten, as I've gotten older and wiser, I look back and I'm like, three hat tricks. Makes sense. I feel like leaning in too much to the number eight. I feel like you wouldn't think that if it was any other number, but it's only, we only think that because it's close to nine. Well, yeah, that's what makes it it. Yeah, I'm just saying I think three hat tricks is cooler. Good pressure. Oh, my gosh. There have been a lot of times of seeing something really close to really cool happening for Debrinkit. Okay, he kept it there. Yeah. And falls. He went for the Chell snipe. Down on my knees, I don't know what to do. Well, caps go offsides. No. What's up, Chris? Um... Between whistles, do us a favor. Hit the like button on the video so we can try to get some more homies in here. Let's get YouTube to find us some more uh, watch pals. I see uh, someone new is subbed to the channel since they've been here. So shout out to you. Oh, dang. What's an Ovechkin? (laughs) (laughs) It's an Ovechkin. 
I don't know about that. Oh, then he gets him with a high stick. Hooking. Hook. Oof. Oh, boy. All right, this oof, is where oof, the caps oof. are dangerous for clear and obvious reasons. I do, I miss you. I am an alumni, but I will also share with you, I don't really care about their hockey team. The way I view it is not like many of my other alumni friends. <laughs> uh, it sucks. Damn, who did that hit? Did that hit Cider up top and he didn't yeah. even flinch? Oh, he hella flinched. Did he? <laughs> yeah, he ducked like he was being shot at. <laughs> well, like, but when it hit him, it's not like he like... Uh, he did not get full full shot. That like he didn't get everything on that shot. That kind of went more like up. Had more like a. I don't know. I think Satter's made of bricks, man. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I don't like that it's going at Cider. There we go. Good PK. I did see that MSU. And if it's anything like years past, they're going to visit the national tournament and show everyone why the CCHA is nowhere to be discussed in the same realm as like the Big Ten and such. Oh, what a piss poor effort, OV. He's old. Dude. I'd be mad. Listen, look at him right now. His his stick blade doesn't touch the ice unless it has to. <laughs> that dude is leaning on his back foot until the puck's coming. Look at this guy. It's it's <laughs> always been that way. Yeah. And then just stand straight. <laughs> Dude, if there's anyone he spent his whole career looking like he's at drop in and doing it <laughs> like at a Hall of Fame level, it's Alex Ovechkin. Menacingly, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know what? You know why that works is he was just out, he was able to be out there for the full two minutes. Yeah. By not putting in effort, unless he had to shoot, they're able to put Ovechkin at the top of that circle for the full two minutes of a power play. That's honestly kind of a smart strat. Jensen, stop, stop trying. Okay. I have a new wish. Oof. I want Kane to hit the Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Would be cool if, uh, if a team from Michigan would hit it again. Oh, whoa! We're just, there's no way you let him just... Mata, do something! He's just jamming into your goalie! Eh. Eh. Eh? Eh. Look at him! Nah, -uh. there's pads. He's fine. You're hearing that too, Matt. The young man's game, but that would be like the ultimate, like I'm still here. <laughs> If you had to call for like an auto accident and you needed a lawyer, who are you calling?
if I had gotten to the point where I felt like I needed a lawyer, am I injured? Yeah. If I'm injured, I'm calling Sam. Yeah. <laughs> if not, I'm calling uh, uh, Mike. <laughs> Mike Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> If it's purely, if I'm purely trying to get, like, I'm trying to get out of the situation. Like, put you this way. If it's my fault, I'm calling Mike. <laughs> if it's my fault, I'm calling Mike. If I can't move my feet, I'm calling Sam immediately. So, it's funny you say that, because on my way back from uh, driving across the state, I was, like, on 96 or something, and uh, Mike has a billboard up. That says, like, no one trucks with me. And I was like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like, <laughs> when, you, when you also, like, I get what he's going for. Obviously, you can't put that word up there. But, like, I, I literally thought about it for, like, three to five minutes on the road after that. Better Call Saul, I'm re-watching that right now. Oh, it's so good. And knowing the way that, like, things pan out and you're just, like, you have the different perspective on the story. Oh. That show is elite. Oh. Did Raymond play an impact on that? Oh, what a tip. <clears throat> Doesn't look like we've gotten our ice tilt back since the penalty. Nope. <laughs> Rhymer's like, I'm going to lift your stick. I don't know about that. Is that how, a good, how good is their defense for us to not be able to do anything Oh! Yet? Their forecheck is strong right now. Oh, hmm. nice. I would have been fine with a the shot there. Yeah, it, the the pass looked awkward. Oh no! Oh wow! Great oh, play! Great Ryan. save! Wow! Oh, in front. Oh, my gosh. Quality chances are definitely in their favor. Our best one was Fabri so far. I can't think of another, like, great one. There's a couple. There was Fabry. There was a Larkin shot right in the slot. Yeah. He didn't have much to shoot at, though, unfortunately. Good job, Valeno. Oh, my God. Definitely feels like the game speed has picked up, and maybe that's just because there, there haven't been 10 whistles in three minutes. It's definitely going back and forth. Mm. There nice you go. Raymond. They're calling it? I was going to say. 
Ref didn't have his arm out. Yeah. I was going to say that he literally tripped him. Oh, too many too men. Many. I, I thought it was say. for the for taking Raymond down. Oh, that one looked like the puck was just kind of lost in the in the smacking. Their reaction makes it really look like this is a brutal call. That's fine. We have about two decades of missed too many men on the ice against the wings to make up for it. We'll take a few like this. Remember how many times during the Penguins playoffs run, you could see moments of oh, them having like, God. there was a whole sequence of them having six guys for a whole like possession yeah, before like one of them was like, wait a second zone. and left. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were cycling the zone and Sakura yeah. like looked around and he just like went off the ice. Cause it was like in the second or in one of the, the periods where it's the offensive zone, you you could just like step call off. They're gonna undo this. Rescinded. Oh wow, those Capital One things on their helmet—they aren't just stickers. You see how embossed that is? Like, not just a flat sticker. I like that. Bad for aerodynamics. True. Ovi needs all of them that he can get. Needs all the aerodynamics. Well, that'll do it for the first period. It's zeros. Jacob, I would need to see it again. I would have been surprised if they would have called it a trip. But. Wow. So close to being a goal for the Caps. And with how much that puck was bouncing around, he hit that out of midair. Austin, the, the first half of that period, I'm with you. That second half, it felt like it flew by. It went zoom, zoom. I need to run to the bathroom, though, so I will be right back. I don't think this is going to be the kind of game that you see like no goals until late in the third. Yeah, we got no goals in the first period, but both teams feel like they were generating enough uh, opportunity that if we don't get a goal in the second period, I'll be pretty surprised. If it's anything like the first, we need more offense. Oh yeah, both teams need more offense. No one's scoring, but... Uh, as I mean, they're showing right now, we definitely got opportunities. Our power play, our early power play looked good. Our five on five was solid. There was a brief period where like nothing was happening for either side. No one getting anything going, but. <clears throat> yeah. Starting the second period like we started the first would be nice. It was good. You can win you can win this game playing the way you're playing right now.
Message retracted. What did you say that you regret, Dominic? I agree, Noah. I think we won the first half of the period and they won the second half. Oh, what else we got? Uh, Any other games going see. on? Florida's up two to one on Boston. Okay. Philly and Rangers are tied. Hmm. Prefer a Kings and Pittsburgh are tied. Devils in Toronto are tied one to one. Rest of the game start later. I don't see any other games tonight that you particularly need to watch too closely. I guess technically we'd be watching this Rangers Philly one in case they have a long-term collapse. Right, because that's the team right above uh, Washington, no? Yep. Red Wings fan club, what's up? Matt, when you say T-O-R, are you talking about Toronto in the Philly and Rangers game? Or who does Toronto play tonight? Devils. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah. Honestly, for... you should be rooting for Philly to lose. Like we said like in our video, if Philly Philly would be another way for us to make the playoffs if they collapsed hard enough that the Capitals jumped them, we could then jump Philly for the wild card. So you Philly is actively a team you should be rooting against right now as a Wings fan. Yep. But like it's not because... a crazy stretch to jump them either. But also because like you should like Philly more than you like, uh, or more like the Caps more than you like Philly. Yeah, they're only two points ahead of the Capitals, so that means they're only three points. Uh, sorry, I read some. Yeah, only three points ahead of us. So definitely uh, one of the teams we actually could jump. Yeah, it looks like if we make the playoffs, it's we're, we're jumping. <laughs> It's definitely not from, or I should say, it's likely not from jumping the lightning. And there's no reason to root against Toronto. We're not going to catch them at this point. Unless. Yeah. So caps or flyers are your primary root against in terms of what's in front of us. And then rooting against the Islanders just in terms of keeping something from jumping us. <clears throat> I guess the Devils, too, technically, but... I'm trying to remember who it was, but someone came up on my Twitter feed saying that everyone should be rooting for the Islanders and the Capitals to make it because every other team is going to get just washed in the first round and said that the Red Wings are complete frauds and that they would be one of the most boring teams to include in the playoffs. And if if I could be brought to care more than just bringing it up now, I would have loved to have heard how the Islanders are more exciting than the Red Wings. There's no way that person sits down and thinks to themselves, I want to watch the Islanders tonight. 
There's no one like that. Those people don't exist. Everyone wants to harp on the Canes for playing boring hockey. That's what the Islanders do, just worse. Yeah, the Islanders with a minus 27 goal differential probably puts on a show night after night. How many goals scored do they have this year? 212. 212? How much is everyone else around them? The Devils, 235. We are right above them, two, uh, 242. We've scored th- literally 30 more goals than they have. And then the only team, the only team that is worse than them in this chance to even come close is the Capitals at 194, yep. who also has a minus 27 goal differential. Yep. I will say this, the Wings, I think calling the Wings fraudulent <laughs> is so weak because, like, we're not, it's not like we're a three or two seed in a weak division. And, you know, I feel like that's, that's the grounds for being fraudulent when the results of your surrounding teams put you in a normally highly viewed position. Yep. We're scratching and clawing for the bottom playoff spot. like. <laughs> like how bad do you have to like how low does your default opinion of this team have to be to think that barely potentially making the bottom seed in the playoffs is fraudulent but also you know I mean? on top of that like your preseason expectations have to play a part in that right like in, in terms of where we are in the season right now like no one expected this team to make the playoffs no one was like oh yeah they're in it's not like you're looking at the Panthers or the the Rangers or the Oilers and, or the Leafs and saying, like, yeah, they're in the playoffs. It's just about getting there. No one said that. No one had those level of expectations, and then we completely just went under them. We called frauds that way. Weird. You know who are frauds, though? Panthers. Yeah. I'll yeah, repeat 97 my, point team. <laughs> I'll repeat my 2023 mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Pacific is trash. Pacific is yeah. trash, trash. For sure. Actually. Central's worse. Central doesn't have the highs that the Pacific does. Except for the the Avalanche. Are you under the impression the Panthers are in the Pacific? No. Okay. It was just a weird segue then. Like No, I'm reading Chris's <laughs> message. Oh, okay. Panthers won in the cup now. I mean, my my guess did well for them last year, so my accusation. I will say, as you get to know Billy, it's unexplainable, and, and he recognizes it, so I can't even be mad. It's like, okay, at least you know. He has a random things, mm-hmm. whether it be teams, usually it's players, often it's goalies. <laughs> I watch him where he'll just be like, I just don't like them. And it does not matter. It does not matter what like statistical analysis that you could bring forward, no matter what they do or what kind of career they, that player has, or that season, uh, that team has in the season or whatever, there will always just be like this. I just don't like them. And you just have to accept that there's just some that Billy just don't like. And he isn't going to like. One of them recently got their their number retired in their respective city. What a joke that is. No. <laughs> the 
There's no way they have 15 OTLs. There's no shot. Who? Islanders. Yes. No. Yep. <laughs> Compared to our six. <laughs> the only teams that come close. <laughs> oh, shit. You know who also does? Boston. Yeah, but that's very different. <laughs> it's but no, it's wild. Boston <laughs> has almost as many OTLs as they have L's. They have 16 losses and 15 overtime losses. They are really close to having and what has that ever happened? Has a team ever finished with more overtime losses yeah. than regular losses? Oh man. That would Cuz be... that would only happen if a really good team consistently lost in overtime. Yes. Oh my gosh, do you see these face-offs? Yeah, that tracks with us getting kicked out of the face-off circle and still winning the face-offs that I was seeing. Uh. Dominic, they're just so boring. I don't know how why everyone hates on the Canes for being the most boring hockey team to watch. And I, I literally think it's because they're so boring that no one watches the Islanders. You're forced to watch the Canes because they make it into the playoffs. And they actually do something in it, I should say. They make it beyond the first round where, you know, you're not blessed with four hockey games a night for a week. <clears throat> I'd, rather, I'd love us to be the Canes. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to be the Canes right now? Maybe the Rangers. <laughs> uh... I'd rather watch the Sharks. <laughs> There used to be a time where playing in San Jose was just, like, deadly. Mm-hmm. The damn Shark Tank era. Yep. Back when it was, like, what, H HP Pavilion? That sounds really HP familiar. HP Pavilion, and I thought they looked cool because back then, like, big Jumbotrons weren't common, especially in hockey, and they had, like, big, like... It was still like old computer aspect ratio. They were just, it was still like squares, almost, almost taller than wide, <laughs> but it was like big screens. I thought that was super cool. Yeah, we said that in, uh, um, uh, we said that in the video. If it, if it was between like facing, well, are you guaranteed to face? How does that work? Is it just top seeded or is it? Yeah. Like, so you could play like the top in like the Metro, like as the wings, not just somewhere in the Atlantic. Yes. Okay. Well, cause right now Boston does not even come close to the top spot. Like, like literally, they literally, they come close, but like right now they are the, the fourth seed is what I mean. Like point wise. Yeah. They're right there, but. If it's bottom seed faces the top seed, right now we'd face the Rangers. And then if we jumped up to the seven seed, we'd face the fraudulent Panthers. <laughs> the that fraud would be hilarious Panthers, to baby. just get squashed by the Panthers. And Billy's like, still frauds. <laughs> <laughs> we were just frauds too. We were the frauds all along. <laughs> the frauds were the friends we made along the way. Oh my God. If we could boot the Bruins out in the first round for their second year row of that happening to the eighth seed, that'd be awesome. It would.
Like second period's about to be underway. It'd be my favorite thing. Kickstarting the rebuild in Boston it would be nice because we the rebuild kind of got kick started <laughs> against Boston. Like it was one of like the last playoff teams we played against, right? Yep. And just looked like total cheeks against them. And the one goal by Datsuk. Like all I remember. If you're trying off. to sync up with us, we are at 1950, 49, Ooh. 48, 47, 46, 45, 4, 3, 2, 1, 40. Nice. Shot by Fishy. Oh, wow. Oh my god, Ovi took 15 shots in one game against us? Oh my god. Talk about desperate, huh? <laughs> Cheapest tickets to that game they were talking about? $77. Which one? When they were just talking about the fan appreciation night. Get off the ice, ice crew. Quit buying them time. You know, why are you drinking Jack? <laughs> Drink a gallon of water a day and I'm waiting for the positive benefits. I don't know. Ooh. Where'd he get him? play by Ed. Oh my gosh. You just missed it. Don't like seeing it. Yup. Cat loses Bummer. the battle. Caps up one nothing. Uh this guy that poked at our goalie. I hope Kesha didn't wake up feeling like P. Diddy this morning. Oh my god. All right. Not the start you're hoping for in the second period. We were hoping to look more like the start of the first. But hey. Better than giving up the first goal with five minutes left in the game. Oh! oh! 
Oh. Bobby, please. Nice play by Mata. feel like a lot of red wings are just falling down damn washington ice oh damn it's a great feed good rip Oh, yeah. does it just ride, like, hit a weird Fluttering part of the and Yeah, you, you had to be quick with it, too. <laughs> All right, Dominic. We had them so low in our season projections. <laughs> I think a lot of people did. Everyone thought wheels were about to come off the bus. They will as soon as they make the playoffs. Oh my oh, no. gosh. Their passes into the slot are like bouncing o bouncing around to become deadly. How did Raz fall? Didn't show it. That was a lot of pressure on Ed. Boom! Yes! There we go! To break it, Barry's one. I didn't see who fed it, but it was a nice pass Petrie. from the corner. Petrie? The hell were you doing down in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> he was in on the rush. But man. we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm still confused. It's not who I expect to be carrying the puck into the zone, but we're here for it. Oh, just enough of a chip on it. I was wondering right, if you put goal. it back through him, but. Good answer. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Oh man. Oh scary stuff. Is that ghost out at the point? Yeah, it is. Wish Felino would have just stopped it. All right, not a great shift after scoring, but nothing bad happened. <clears throat> Keep fighting. 
You still got it. Okay. You couldn't tell from that camera angle, but. All right, face of deep, face off deep. Uh, score update, by the way. Uh, Flyers are up one to nothing on the Rangers about halfway through the second period. Hmm. We are uh, obviously you see r- rooting against the Flyers here is a potential road to making the playoffs for the Wings. <laughs> you see Ed and and uh, Cat hugging there. It honestly no. looked like an EASHL game where you made one of your players like six nine and the other one's five nine. <laughs> and they're hugging in the in the thing. <laughs> He's like legitimately underneath his armpit, like his head is just in there. Ah. Uh. Expecting a cat trick. <laughs> So while we're at commercial, the, there's this picture going around of the uh, from the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're a Jumbotron guy doing something funny. So I guess they do this thing where they pan around the, cl- uh, the crowd and they zoom in on someone and put like betting odds about something about that fan. Okay. So it'll be like based on like their looks or what they're wearing or, or whatever, just something funny. Yeah. And they zoom in on three dudes wearing warriors jerseys and it says 10 to one odds their their warriors gear hangs at their closet between their yankees patriots and lakers gear (laughs) 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 he posts that meme up in the discord yeah i think it's funny that instead of naming a team from the fourth sport. big sport. They just named another basketball team. Yep. Instead of picking like, I don't know, like what would be the team to pick, like Boston or something. If you're not in the discord, join the I discord. There. The discord. I put it in Mimi's. Getting tired of losing these like loose puck battles, like races. Good play by Raymond. Did Raymond kick Carlson's stick away? Mm. Yeah, at least the puck's ours. JJ, you're so damn dramatic in this Discord, I swear to God. Oh my gosh, he's just waiting. Oh my gosh. Oh, Lion, get up. Yeah, Riz, you got to go to it. Ooh. Riz looked over his shoulder, too. That's bad. That's something I would do. Just waiting for the puck to come to you.
playing Kesha. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice try. I swear someone in practice told to break it, start lifting people's sticks. <laughs> He's been doing that all game. Just, just dramatically. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I guess it works, but <laughs> he was not anticipating, Ooh, good give anticipating go. that. Ah, uh, it's in your feet. There you go. <clears throat> That's big. To to get drafted in the seventh round and get the entry level that soon, you, you're doing something right. They see something they like and they don't want to, you know, they want they want to see if there's something they can do with it. How often do you see a seventh round guy? Not too not, often. Uh, it's not the era of there's a random Datsuk sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> no one else went over to Russia. Uh <laughs> yeah, the scout everywhere now. Do you think like the wing scouts that we had over there, like the year after Datsuk's drafted, like suddenly they see like 30 more people there and they're like, a damn hell? <laughs> Where'd you guys come from? They go to the arena, there's no parking spots. What the? <laughs> oh! Oh, close for Fabry again. I have Austin. I have thought about that and how cool that is. Do you ever think about how crazy it is that like, if you want, you can watch a really old broadcast and there was still some sort of tracking technology for TV broadcast to like put like a line behind the puck back then. <laughs> I, I just think it's funny that we have the technology to easily do that and way better now, but we're like, that's dumb. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> like we could easily do that, but no, we're good. Uh, it is one of those things though, that people who have not watched hockey, they struggle to follow where the puck is. Yeah, they're programmed to miss the net off to break its stick. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if they started getting suspicious and they like grab someone else's stick because they have like, imagine they have like a chip in the blade to, to detect who's the one shooting and whether or not it's going to go in. Just like moves a magnet around in it like, oh, too bad. There's potential with this joke we're making for a for a hockey themed version of the old B-dubs commercials. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to go home. I wish this would go to overtime. And there's like some dude with a little joystick and makes the puck like <laughs> just like <laughs> miss an open net. We're going to overtime. No, it would be funnier if they went back and then also edited them like messing with Patrick Stefan. When the oh, puck hops sucks. his stick and they just hit A, <laughs> like someone out of the controller, A, and the puck jumps. <laughs> I agree, Austin. I do like that when, when you don't know what, like, every player looks like on the other teams and when they're, like, skating down, you're like, oh, man, I, I can't tell if that's, you know, player... A or B or whatever. I'd like a Nickelodeon hockey broadcast once 
Have you seen the one that they did for the Winter Classic? It's not nearly as good, but no, I didn't like it at all. Like yeah. it, it was where they have like there was it, they have like the players are fully animated, right? I've seen that for football too. They did like the the Toy Story. I don't want that. I want like the stuff all over the ice. They like over explain stuff oh. and go. Oh my, oh my god, god, it doesn't go in. Him. Oh, oh my god, it got through, but it didn't make it in. It squirted. Oh, it was so close. That's two now. Yeah. I think I think that's oh. common, Chris. I don't think that's a Canadian. I think it is. I think hockey fans just don't need that that puck glow or puck shadow thing the way maybe they thought they did. Be- you know what? Maybe on old broadcasts, it wasn't as clear. Yeah. That's kind of fair. It'd be harder to see the puck on older, like fuzzier, lower resolution broadcasts, maybe. I've now, seen, like, it's not tough to see it at all. I've seen TikToks from people at hockey games like making fun of like how they're just turning their head with everyone else because they don't actually know where the puck is. Nice, go. I can't do it. Oh, nice pass. Better than dumping it there. You know, I've started to notice my vision going a little bit. Here, there, a couple things where I'm just like, I huh. definitely have a few moments where I'm like, I will, I will misread things. <laughs> and, I, and then I'll, I, I, and in my head, I'll be like, that's dumb. <laughs> and I'm like, <clears throat> oh no, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, you know what, I think I did this last year. My, my moment of I'm getting older and I might as well just accept it instead of struggle. I hit control plus in discord like twice. <laughs> I made everything just a little bit bigger. All right, good place to the neutral zone. Oh, that confused me for a second. I'm like, what are you talking about? They just said NHL players are going back. Oh, Russia. How many times tape? I, I, it's crazy to me how much tape. I would love to know, like, a season's <laughs> end. Like, I, I want to see, like, the pile of tape they've gone through. God, the puck finally moved.
Hawk doesn't want to leave that corner. Six minutes and change to go in the second. Nice. Oh, he's got someone. Oh. Nice back check. That's that Red Wings uh, defensive forwards being installed in Patrick Kane there. You know who doesn't do that? Showtime oh, in good Chicago. Pass. I mean, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just candling, watching everyone panic. Everyone froze. Menacingly. All the Red Wings froze too. Like, what's he going to do? Oh, oh. We like this pressure. And this Daniels. is the kind of pressure that could draw a penalty. And Daniels just got uh, Edvinson and Sherratt mixed up. Oh! oh! Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That's when he gives up a massive rebound. <laughs> when we would have rather he uh, caught that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he eventually does. He gets it up to him. Hey, unless you're talking about a different sequence. That's six done. <laughs> I like how the trainer's like, all right. <laughs> like He sees him winding up. He's like, time to grab the next one. Got it. <laughs> uh. And they know how to make basketball look exciting. Did you see that boat today? with a cargo ship yeah i sent it to you where i sent you two videos of it on tiktok and said this this shit happened in the middle of the night holy f oh i'm logged into the deportability account Oh, yeah, I see that now. Well, I did not know that you sent that to me. As we go on the PK. I have, Austin. I have seen that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he sold it. Uh, uh, 
That's a that's a take both for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Red Wings, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, it's scary as hell. I like this. I like the high pressure on this side. Can pointing to the fastest route to get to him. <laughs> yep, right now, if they don't have Backstrom and they don't have Wilson, make those two work. There you go. Good you know, job. you knew Ovi wasn't going to beat you to that puck. Those are the two that you have to take advantage of in that corner. That's perfect penalty killing. Damn, Moss, that's scary. Woo. Austin, do you happen to live in your P. Diddy? Ooh, that's a really good chance. Oh, oh, he got it. Way to read that. Oh, what a play. I thought he was about to pop it for a breakaway. Oh, what a play by Fisher. <laughs> yeah, that's the house. <laughs> Fisher to go and see the danger in that, op in that moment. Yep. And be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. Way to go, Fisher. Yeah, Ozzy just called that an infectious play. That's the kind of play that your teammates can see, and that could make them work a little bit harder. Obi's still out there. I think now he's finally getting <clears> off because <throat> he knows the power play's over. Yep. Their forecheck is making us cycle back a lot. Oh, ice. Oh, boy. Fish is friend, not food. Minute and a half left of the second. I stick on the Capitals. They had the puck when the whistle blew, so probably. Yep. Okay, so we're going to get most of the power play here to end out the second, and then we're going to... I hate when your power play gets in interrupted like this. Yep. So then we'll get a little bit if we don't score... We'll at least start with a mile advantage. Yeah, high stick yeah, right got there. Him. It would be nice, Dominic. Oh, for the tip. 
Oh! I like that play by Lion to just like ship it backwards. Nice. nice pass. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, wow. What a save. Fabri again. Oh, great Poor play. Oh. Oh, no, my God. Fabri, no. Wait, it's loose. It's loose. Yes. Yes. yes! Let's go. They buried Burn. it. Bang. Woo. Pucks on that. Woo. Bodies in the crease. Let's go. Oh, that's big. Props to that ref for not blowing that dead. Props to that ref for keeping eyes on that puck. Oh. Two. Three. Oh, my gosh. Does that go off his face? <laughs> oh, man. That is big. I think it does. I think it goes off his face. <laughs> oh, that was a hard fought one. Finish the period strong. <laughs> it was like wanting to hug and then he's like no i gotta i gotta shove you away i forgot who it was or what team they were playing on but there was an nhl player who went by and high-fived a ref who uh, was signaling goal oh no oh no Four seconds. Whoa. Just run it. End the period. All right. Two, uh, two to one lead. Going into the second intermission. Shots 27 to 18 in favor of the Wings. Really goes to show you how much Caps uh, Lindgren has been has stepped up in some big scoring opportunities. The Wings have created some really, really good chances. Who's who's standing over there? Who just let him walk in like that? Yeah, it'd be great to come out, Woo. have a hot start in the third, keep up that pressure that they had on. Hey, hey can you Because they were looking good before the, uh, before the power play. Can you rewind? Just like the 15 seconds or something? No, nothing easy. Okay. Looked like uh, Larry like hid something at the start. Like it, like he had his drink or something out, and he was like, "Oh," <laughs> put it away. Should they got a little shelf? Yeah, they do. It doesn't look like you're going to get any easy ones on this goalie tonight. You're going to, it's going to be, it's going to have to be some unfair opportunities. Like he made four saves in a row and his defense can't bail him out. He's, type of deal. he's looking real solid. <clears throat> Yep. 
It's what while we're in between periods, feel free to do us a favor. It takes half a second. Doesn't mess with your uh doesn't mess with your algorithm. Just go ahead and hit that like button under the live, just in case there's any Wings fans out there that don't know that they've got a a chill place to hang out and watch a Wings game. Or if you came in, you found it, make sure you sub so we can be there for these. Uh, probably get a decent chunk of uh, watch lungs in these final stretch of games, I'm sure. Ideally. And then hopefully into the playoffs. So about that uh, cargo ship that hit, there was a guy in Baltimore that tweeted out. He was, he's just a normal guy. He's not didn't have a bunch of followers or anything like that whatsoever. Just just a guy. Middle of the night tweets out like just heard like a super loud noise. Um, sounds like it came from the bridge. I hope everything's okay. I hope something bad didn't happen. And he goes outside, I guess, for his next tweet. And he's like, I don't see the bridge anymore. Like, he was in vision of, like, seeing the entire bridge, right? And then, like, afterwards, he's like, oh, my God. He, like, walked closer, like, took other photos and was, like, starting to share the, oh, my God, something hit it. And, like, the bridge is gone. Could you imagine that level of stress that just hits you? Like, you just hear something loud outside. And you're like, huh, the direction of the bridge, that can't be great. Walk outside, and the entire structure is just gone out of your vision. Yeah, that would be pretty. I'd be so stressed. pretty damn scary. My uh, my immediate fear is any any of the people that were in the cars that were oh yeah in the middle of the night, out of nowhere, within seconds, suddenly submerged in water. I haven't followed through to to see what's going on with like casualties and such, but I know I saw like conflicting reports early of officials saying there were none, and then other it's like definitely news not sta- true. Yeah, then other like news stations coming out and saying like no, they've pulled like two cars out of the water and there's there's still like. <clears throat> Yeah, you can look right now. As of three minutes ago, there are still six people unaccounted for. Yeah. So. Yeah, probably not good. I think it was uh, Gator today was sharing that. Like apparently he knows some people who work out on ships and when they lose power the way <clears throat> that one did is they say like no matter where you are on the water that installs like immediate intense panic of we have to get this back on so it's it's not like it's a common occurrence by any means and it it can be like catastrophic anywhere but it was just like the worst place in time for it to happen Which then led, of course, like Michigan news stations to to start sharing stories about the Mackinac and how the Mackinac has been hit before, too. And I'm like, I've gone over the Mackinac with ships beneath it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's too much. That was one of my irrational fears that has stuck with me. From being younger is I hate going over bridges. <laughs> and less depressing news. Um, looks like after two periods, the Flyers are uh, up two to one 
on the Rangers. So that particular uh, particular route, damn. If the Flyers could pull off a dub against the Rangers, that is really clutch for them, especially if we end up beating the Capitals. That's the Flyers' best case scenario tonight. See, uh, the Lenny show started a new strat with their thumbnails, changing the color to based on the based on the team. Yep. Yeah, tell me more people are looking at us now. <laughs> the Tigers one with like the orange is not good. It, oh, I haven't seen they, the they leave yet. the text white and it's kind of a lighter orange. I don't like it. You got to go try to see it now. It looks good with the blue though. I do like the blue. Like you could see the text on the orange just fine, just for whatever reason. I just, I, I don't particularly associate orange with the tigers. I know that is one of their colors, but it's like, it's not even on their home jersey. It's only on their away, and it's like an outline. <laughs> like it's, it's pretty minimal. Yeah, I wish it was more prominent, because I like the orange that they do use. I mean, it makes sense. They're they're the tigers. Tigers are orange. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> I like the Bengals. They're using blue. Yeah, I just don't look at. I don't like when I think of the Tigers, I think of like the white or the blue D. I just don't really think of the, the version with the tiger in it or the, the color orange. I think of the color orange because I think of the tiger. I don't think of the jerseys. Mm. <clears throat> the Tigers are definitely one of those teams that are that finished well enough last year that it is genuinely worth having some optimism going into this season. It's been like you, you saw good from from players of the future and then, you know, I love Miggy as much as the next guy, but it is nice to have a year like the, the only thing now at this point taking up someone's spot is that bum of a shortstop. I heard him called the SS Titanic today. I thought that was hilarious. Lenny called him the SS Titanic, and I loved it. But on the topic of the Tigers, it has been a long, long time since I have invested even a little bit of care into the Tigers, and I feel differently this year. It feels like I actually want to pay attention a little bit. I'm not going to watch every single game, but I, I have a feeling I'm actually going to watch them this year. And Billy just giving us like, like <laughs> it's like the, uh, the first, it, this would be like if someone made a funny video of the first ever bandwagon fan, <laughs> like, like, you know, guys, <laughs> I think I just randomly care. <laughs> like I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's exactly how I feel. Just, I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try to like the Tigers this year. Just get rid of Baez. I wish you could. At this point, I would, I would honestly, I mean, this is just pure spite. Also, I've said it before. I love these. I, I like these like Tigers hockey jerseys that they made. I think it looks cool. I like um, the, uh, with the Baez thing, I'm, I'm kind of petty. So like I know they wouldn't do this like an IRL professional organization. I'd keep him on the team and I just he he'd be my bench guy. He'd be my making way too much money bench guy. Cause what's the point? Unless I have someone in the system that I actively want in that spot, he's my bench guy. And if and if he wants to stunt his career and not get better and not be have the opportunity to put up any sort of numbers to get another contract when he's done, that's not him. Was that April 6th, that game, to get that jersey? I don't know. I think that's a Saturday. Yeah. You want to go to that game? Absolutely not. Okay. 
there is no force on earth or heaven that could get me on that island. Jurassic Park 3 reference. But yeah, I'm watching WrestleMania. <laughs> it's during the day. Don't care. I'm watching the pre-show stuff. I'm. I'm. I'm what time I'm, does that start? Like five o'clock, six o'clock. What the game? What time does the game start? One. Absolutely not. Main show starts at seven, so that means your pre-show ones that'll definitely be on Peacock probably start at like five thirty. Maybe five, maybe even earlier, right, because Chad, it is literally re- it's literally WrestleMania. <laughs> Forget the Deporta; it'll be a Billy meetup at the Tigers game on Saturday. <laughs> Hard pass. I'll also wait until it's like June, July and have a pretty damn good chance that it'll be nice out. (laughs) April in Michigan is no guarantee. (laughs) Pretty sure it's supposed to be. He knew what this was, Jacob. He's all next next week. He, He knew what this was. Ain't catching me in an outdoor stadium in the first week of March in the state of Michigan. Or sorry, uh, first state of uh, April. Cloudy. That's a fine day. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's a very fine day. Yeah, totally. No, because the next thing is going to happen. It's going to hit 80. You're going to be like, I'm not going out there and burning. Oh, I'd go out in 80. I waited five hours to meet Rhea Ripley and torched my skin more than I ever have in my life. I'll take the heat over sitting like this, getting all wet in the rain and being sad. (laughs) What do you do? When did rain come into play? It's April and it's Michigan. You're not predicting accurately whether or not it's going to rain on the 26th. I can tell you have not planned an outdoor thing in a while. So let me tell you, it's not freaking easy around here. You know how many times I've oh, only 5% chance of uh, precipitation. The day of that number crawls up. Next thing you know, you get there and you are the 20%. Ever since I learned what that percentage actually meant, yeah. I start to understand why it seems like it rains more than it should. Fifty is not cold. Fifty. It depends on if the sun's actually out. Cloudy fifty can feel cold, especially when you're just sitting outside. It's not like an active thing that you're doing. If the sun's out, yeah, you're right. That's it. Feels good. A cloudy, windy fifty is not going to feel like a super nice day at a event where you're t- expected to just you're in sit and watch. Now you're adding in wind. Yeah. 50 is that's not outside bad. Billy that's, that's literally what you can't predict right I'm now I'm not disagreeing that with wind it would suck I'm saying 50s is good okay thank you that's it <laughs> I don't see anyone saying that it wasn't did you make up an argument just to, just to say that ugh It depends if I'm indoors or outdoors, Jacob. Outside, I'll take hot over cold. Inside, I'll take cold over hot. If I'm trying to be comfortable in my home, I'd rather be chilly. But if I'm outside trying to enjoy anything, I would rather it be kind of hot than feeling cold.
A guy on Twitter said the comments under any Pride Night post is exactly why these nights are necessary. Facts. <laughs> Ten is nice if no wind. No. I'm not open for... I'm not even going to be open-minded <laughs> in that one. <laughs> Ten degrees Fahrenheit is never Jacob, nice. You just said it needs to be nice out or it's not happening. And then later on says, oh yeah, if it's 10 degrees out and there's no wind, I'm good. Feels contradictory. Honestly, my favorite weather is cloudy and 60. I don't like when it's too bright out. I think feels... I'm sunny in 50. I like the warmth of the, the sun on my skin. Great. I so like the I'm... air to feel kind of cool and then get the warmth of the sun as well. It's like having warm brownie bites and an ice cream. Shout out, Brands. I miss you. Also, I know you and I have talked about it before. I'm weird in that in the summer, I'm okay with not turning the AC on right when I get into the car sometimes and, like, just sitting in, like, a sauna-level heat. <laughs> 10, sunny, no wind, and standing still. So, but if you move, <laughs> if there's any, like, friction of your skin and the air, it's over. <laughs> All right, we have started the third period. If you're trying to sync up with us, we are at 1941, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the Capitals immediately tie the game halfway through the first minute. Not how you want to start that. Red Wings fan, that's also my favorite thing. The hoodie shorts combo was uh, uh <clears throat> I want just cold enough at night so that the bugs don't feel comfortable. Dude, I had like a two week battle with this spider in my apartment. Because I thought I killed it with Febreze, but I didn't. We about to challenge something? Nope. Well, starting this period tied then. So it's a real damn good thing we scored on that power play. We got a hockey game again right away. Just a little floaty. That's impressive from Lindgren. <clears throat> There's also, for obvious reasons, uh, added value to us to win in regulation. Yeah, not giving a point to the Capitals would be nice. Yep, because then we would just be tied with them points-wise. Damn it. Another red wing down. I'm telling you, I've seen like eight falls since I even said something. 
The Rangers tied the game. Uh, two yeah. to two with about 18 minutes left in the Flyer game. Wow. Chris Chris almost just got banned. At 17, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. This is the line that was doing well for us last few games. Fisher, Raz, Cop. Oh, no. Woo! Job line. Woo -woo -woo -woo. The lion was out of that net, man. <laughs> you know what you should do? Oh, you can't. Well. Maybe on nights where you're doing, like, the free trial or something. Add the uh, the browser that you're watching as a browser source. Yeah. And then crop it all the way down perfectly around the clock. Yeah, that's that's what I... May have done it at one point in my life on a different channel doing something, but I remember when we talked about it, we were like, that's when I give them any reason to be mad. I'd do it. <laughs> Crop it all the way down to just the timer, not even the third, because we already have that. Literally just the timer and make it small. Oh my. Ooh, nice save. I'm going to be honest, Jacob. I wouldn't even be remotely worried, especially at like such a small thing of it. Like, what's like. It, listen, if people can put entire episodes of stuff and it work just by reversing the whole screen, I think only putting up like 2% of the screen and making it small, there's no shot of getting caught. <laughs> like, I've seen entire. <clears throat> broadcasts get posted but just like make it crooked and it doesn't get picked up I'll just share I'm not comfortable with it it's literally not it doesn't break anything it's I a mean, timer we it would absolutely be using part of their production. Not at all. It would just be a timer. Rangers take the lead. This is my surprised face. Oh, man, we had bodies in front. Man, they don't want him to shoot. They're scared of number eight shooting out here. Hell yeah, Jacob.
Got no stick. Oh, but hold on. Feels like they're getting just in the way enough of everything we want to do. Fifteen, fifteen. A lot of whistles in the third period again. <clears throat> I guess Austin Matthew scored tonight. He has fifty nine goals now. Oof. Ugh. Three, two caps. Clean play. That's a super clean play. Just the way you draw it up. Oh, it's tough. Tough start to the third. It was being a dog. Just a dump in. Nice play by Kane. Oh. Oh. Don't like seeing a player without a glove. Causing problems. Man, caps are going into a trap, huh? How many players they just had lined up at the blue line waiting for us? Oh, it's right to him. Bobbery can never can't catch. catch a break tonight. Those are literally going to be my words. Oh, they have the the caps lineup printed out behind them. They had lines one through uh 
for all the defensemen and everything. Flyers tied it. 13 minutes left. Damn you. Jacob's got their call. I'm calling Larkin for the tie. Who do you got? Also Larkin. Give me Comfer. Crazy how quick they could turn around. Is that like what the first like four minutes of the first? Pretty much. First one was the first like 30 seconds. Can I lean somewhere in the middle, Austin? If you made me guess, I would I'd probably say. Overrated? I know it's polarizing, but I think it's fine. If it's at a Christmas or a Christmas party, geez. If it's at a birthday party, I would eat it. But if there's like some sort of chocolate option, I'm gonna take the other chocolate first. We got 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of games in the East tonight that mean a lot. I would eat mint chocolate chip before I eat cookies and cream ice cream. That's wild to me. <laughs> That's just an Oreo McFlurry. That's all cookies and cream is. Cool. Here we go. There's the sound balance they were looking for. I can never keep the Strom brothers like correctly separated in my mind. Like one of them was drafted super high and with the, uh, oh my God, Oilers for a long while. <laughs> You're welcome, Austin. Damn it. I'm also hungry, but I got some chicken slow cooking right now that I'm going to eat after stream.
20 comeback wins. 12 in the third. Okay. We just... Okay. Oh, man. How did that fly so far back out? Was the shot really that hard? God. He's got him? Oh, I thought he was hopping behind him. Oh, he's got him. Damn. Looks like he defense we got a piece of it might have a tired ovi out there take advantage it's shane the possession ends with me goss to spare whether it's shot or turnover huh Nice plays. Good cycling. Make some space. They're down a stick now. No, you can't do that. Hey. I'm like 80% sure you can't do that. I thought that was just for the goalie stick or something. Maybe it's like you can't pick it up or something. Because I know I've seen players pick it up and get called for it. Oh, you can't do it to an opponent's stick. Okay, that makes sense. Rangers have scored. They're up four to three. Flyers are on the power play. Yeah, I may have been wrong on that one. Glad I went with 80. This is big. That clock is going to tick real fast. A PP does sound nice. I don't think so, Jacob. <laughs> Austin, I'm I'm really hoping that I can play a song on my ocarina. No way. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Eight and a half minutes. Dude. Ghost. You have been a pure liability.
Yeah, that's on you, Ovi. Get the puck in the zone. <laughs> yeah. Picked a weird spot to just start going uh, horizontal there. Yeah, it's Patrick Kane playing defense on you. Tells me you've got some some advantage there. Got that. How was that? It feels like we really are taking the... Oh, reverse it. We're taking the pucks to the net to uh, almost... It's just a turnover level. <laughs> Off. Puck has traveled really far, really fast. Ooh, nice play, Raymond. Rip it. Oh! Oh, nice pass. Oh! Petrie? Oh, I don't need to shoot that. Oh, that was such a good play. It, was Petrie just not looking at the net? I don't know. I think he just, I just looked for a pass for some reason. I'll just stay with it. I, guys, I'm pretty sure that was Petrie. Oh, he's got him. Oh, too much sauce. Too saucy. Oh. oh my. Six minutes. How do you not shoot there? Oh my God. How do you not shoot there, Petrie? Oh, what better opportunity? Oh my God, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. What better opportunity to shoot the puck could you have wanted? Uh, I mean, he literally made a good play to score our first goal. So it's like, I'm not going to say he can never do anything, but like, yeah, that's a pretty brutal moment. Not looking. He's just not looking at the goalie. That's all that came down to. And I, it, it upsets me because of how much time he actually had to like slot himself open to be able to take a look and instead passing it to a completely tied up Perron. Uh. Flyers tied it four to four. <laughs> What a wild game going on over there.
They're literally just fighting for any point. So it makes a lot of sense. I would take an OT loss to the Rangers this week. I'll, I mean, we're getting to the point where I'll take an OT loss tonight. <laughs> yeah. If you gave me like a FanDuel slide, a style like cash out right now, either ride out these six minutes and have a chance to win or end it now with an OT loss, I'm probably yeah. cashing out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably like, you know what? Let's just, let's only fall behind uh, one more point tonight. Oh, Petrie, that hurt. Please say we're going to get another chance. Give us another chance like that with someone who wants to shoot the puck. Raymond scores that. <laughs> Sprong scores that. <laughs> oh. Bang! Let's go! <laughs> Patrick Kane! Showtime. We oh, my God. That's what we needed. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! I want to know how many slap shots... He's scored with in his career. I want the stat now. Oh, that's big. Oh, we needed that bad. You sure you're cashing out? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Although, had it let me, that's usually how it goes when I cash out. <laughs> so that's kind of, that kind of tracks. Petrie's like, thanks, bro. <laughs> three, three, five minutes, 10 seconds left in the third. Rangers also scored five, four over there. Come on. Eh. Ooh. So Wings scored and Rangers also scored almost at the exact same time. Rangers are up five to four with just under six minutes left in that game. Just Ooh. such a quick wind up. Lindgren was like fully set up and everything. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Broken stick. Hey, take advantage. Don't rush it. No. Oh, but hey. Okay, Obi doesn't. Oh, uh, but yeah, they, they just went to the bench like a smart player. Cider. Oh, he's like, move. <laughs> Stick almost helped us out a little bit. Hey, do we? That sucks. We, they got to change right before this icing. Do we pull a wild in, in, in OT and pull our goalie? Did you see that? Yes. Well, if you, here's here's a little thing you might not know. If you lose with your goalie pulled in overtime, you get zero points. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's just a random like rule yep. that. Yep. It was discovered by a lot of the hockey world when uh, the Wild did it like two weeks ago. 
like think against the blues. I wonder if that I wonder if that counts when it's just like pulling you going like a delayed penalty and you accidentally screwing your own net or something. Huh. Oh no, turnover. We stuck with our goalie pulled. We literally won a game because we scored with our goalie pulled, didn't we? Like last week. It is true. What's his name? Uh, the one guy, Friedman. Friedman even tweeted out saying, "Like, yeah, this is one hundred percent true." That's how ballsy the Wild went, and they people were making the oh, there joke. We go. Two and a half minutes. Capitals rushing out of their zone now. Oh no, they're gonna get possession down here. I'm getting that antsy. Every puck at our net is a uh, an uneasy oh. moment. Good defensive decisions there between Mata and Larkin. That was really good. Here we go. There we go. Let's Hold go. On, he's got him. Oh. Jacob, that's just empty net. That's just hockey. Like, it's not like we suck with an empty net. It is a risk in the sport with a low stick. It's like an onside kick. That's like saying, why are we onside kicking? It never works. Well, yeah, you don't do it because you want to. It's a desperate situation. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh. What penalty could you possibly yeah, want on that? That would have been I would have been angry. Oh, almost a one-handed pass like that from Raz. That would have been cool. Shout out kid in the Lidstrom jersey. Oh, oh. Trip. Damn. Damn. I wanted it. I wanted the, the chintzy call. Oh, man. Are both teams just agreeing to a point here? <laughs> like, oh, nope, they're going to do one more rush. 10 seconds left. All right, big face-off. So Let's with five go. seconds, we'll get a face-off in the wing zone. So that means right now our best-case scenario is this goes to overtime. I uh, tripped him. Hey, he might have tripped him a little bit. <laughs> but I also appreciate not calling either because, like, this coming down to a power play goal with how important it is to both teams, meh. I do agree not calling that and then calling the cane one the uh, the place would be currently on fire. Yeah. Good face off win, eat it. Put it on that. Shoot, 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 shoot. You coward. <laughs> All right, well we got a point. Unfortunately, the Caps did too, but fortunately, you have to remember that one of our ways of uh making it is the Capitals actually still doing well and the Flyers completely falling out. But unfortunately, again, the Flyers tied it over there. It no, is five to five. Not. It is five Ugh. to five with about two minutes left in the game. Uh, dude, I, I'm going to look up the highlights of that game. It's it four to three obnoxious. in the third alone. Like there's been seven yeah. goals in the third period alone over there. Oh, man. Oh. 
Kane Sully was sick. <laughs> the Canes lost tonight? I did, I don't know. Let's get that point. They'll have the game in hand, but let's just be tied. If they win, they'll actually be fully tied with the Flyers. And I guess one point in hand or one game in hand too. And as much as we predict the Lightning are going to go on a tear to end this, even just getting this one point, it is one baby step smaller to being ready for if they do slip up. The three teams behind us trying to get in are so pissed this game went to overtime. Yep. <laughs> uh, Caps got early possession in uh, OT. Scary. Red 4.36 right now. Oh, we got it. Here we go. Is he in? Come on, Raymond. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to bank it off his back. Here you go. Harass him. Yeah, but now he's dead. Nice. Mm. Oh, I thought he was going to get it out. Good cover. Yep. Oh. Whew. Come on. Win this face off. We were dominating them. This is when they're the biggest. Who's taking this comfort? Yeah. Uh, damn. Lost the face off. Yep, and they played it smart. They they had their guy for the face off out there. Get him off. Thank God Ovechkin go. just loves to shoot. I don't know about that pass, though, bro. Out of play. Why are we making that pass out there? I know how to fix overtime. For overtime only, introduce backcourt style violation style style penalty. That's been Can't cross about. back over. Can't cross back over the red line. It has been talked about. Obviously not for the whole game. That's not an issue really in the whole game, although that would, would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Not be able to do like a full reset like that. Do we get there? Good. Yes. Good call. Let's go, Larkin. 325 left in OT. Flying We're breaking middle. in. Larkin's breaking in. Oh, two on one. Let's go. No, what's that pass? Oh, what's that pass? Did it hit something? I don't know. It looked like it was just a brutal pass. What are we doing? What are we Not doing? Like this. Oh. Oh. Oh, it hurts for it to happen like that. Oh, it hurts so bad to have that opportunity. Flub the pass. And that's how it ends.
Just an awful pass. Oh! And then the decision making over here is questionable. Just letting him get to the net with nothing. That's that's genuinely two goals that game that are that are on cat. At least he scored one, but <laughs> it hurts. It really do hurt. That point is still big. If you were gonna lose only losing a point on the Capitals and still gaining a point there. I mean, that's how you want to lose it. Oh, boy. Let's try to see how the Rangers and Flyers is going to go. Rangers and Flyers are going to OT. Yep, them going to OT essentially makes our OT <laughs> better than zero, but when, if That's, we're I mean, if anything, it makes doing, it bigger. If we're I mean, you, you can make the argument either way, it makes it bigger because that means we just needed it that much more. So we'll take that. Let's hope the Rangers pull off a dub then. If we can get a little less buffering. They have the game in hand still? Yep. But we are, uh, we're definitely in no position to say no to points at this point, re regardless of uh, the opponent. Oh, boy. I mean, they could start right here, Jacob. They're going to OT with the Rangers. We'd love if the Rangers made it so that we at least uh, matched Philly tonight. Off the post off just Durkin. Oh, they did. Is this is this feed that behind? Yeah, Rangers won. <laughs> or maybe we joined it right after it happened. This is like a full recap. I thought it was like the intermission with it. Yeah, definitely not. This, we're we're, we're going to be watching this, but just behind. Cool. We'll take that. No stress, at least watching the, at least no stress watching the Ranger game. Looks like they score in the first, like, 30 seconds, so I might as well watch it. Yeah, Rangers winning, that definitely makes it so getting that point tonight helps us just match Philly so that if the Capitals go on a run and uh, Philly starts falling, they at least did not pull away from us tonight. I'm just excited to see how the Rangers score. It happens like right now. <laughs> Just a pure nip. Adam Foxway. On the seventh? Who do they play? That's a week and a half, almost two weeks away. Oh, you've seen him play the Sabres. That'll be cool. I, I think I saw that it was a, a Sunday game. 
It's Sunday at one o'clock. I wonder how early they open the doors, but I would say if it's your first time going or first game this season. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say so, show up a little early and take it all in. So technically speaking, uh, because it looks like they have updated the standings. The Flyers are the team we are directly competing with now because <laughs> with the uh, the game in hand, the Capitals jump up to the third seed and the Flyers are the team right in front of us, two points ahead of us with the same number of games played. All right, I'm not looking at the Caps anymore. They're too good. Philly's falling off. <laughs> so, yeah, if, uh, man, if they would have lost in regulation, that would have looked good. But, uh, yeah, so now it's Tampa, six points ahead of us, and the Flyers, two points ahead of us that are actually in the wild card spot. All right. Well, I think that's going to be a night for us. Anything Later, folks. Hit sub. Join the Discord. <laughs>